Hi everyone, this is just going to be a quick overview of the Xbox Media Center on a Windows 8 box. You can also install it on things like the Apple TV 2, um, your OS X computer, uh, older Windows, uh, the original Xbox, uh, numerous other devices, and recently the Raspberry Pi and uh, Android devices. So for the first thing I'm going to show you is the random TV feature. Now, this is called Pseudo TV, but I've renamed it as Random TV. And what it does is you click on it. It'll take a second to start up, and it looks through all the videos uh, marked in the television folder on your media center, and it'll make imaginary TV channels based on uh, genre or station. And you can look through the guide just like you could a normal TV guide. You can see we have NBC here, Fox, CBS. Uh, it also has stations like HBO, um, and then by genre. And again, these are not real stations. You're not really getting HBO. It just has whatever movies you... Uh, either bought through Amazon or iTunes or ripped from DVD um, or your TV shows you ripped or purchased. It'll put it in your library and then it makes imaginary TV channels. So you can be watching, uh, for example, The Walking Dead and the next thing is up, Breaking Bad. So it's all kind of the same genre. You can also make your own custom stations. I have one that shows all TV shows, so it's very random. And that's pretty cool for just relaxing if you're not really in the mood for any serious TV. You just want some, uh, some quick entertainment. Also on the Xbox Media Center, you can watch live TV uh, if you have a device that has a live TV tuner. Um, for this computer, it's a, a over-the-air HD TV antenna. You can also get these video apps. You can see Hulu is up there, uh, Netflix, which is titled Xbox Media Center Flicks, um, YouTube. This documentaries plugin is pretty cool. Um, it's a little bit slow, and it's not really the most graphically pleasing things, but there's hundreds of hundreds of documentaries you can watch. For example, Environment has 101 different documentaries. They're all free. Um, that's a pretty cool little app you can get. Um, there's also the DIY Network, Food TV, uh, HGTV, PBS. And these aren't the actual stations, but instead it's their streaming videos they have available online. Now for live TV, you can set it up a bunch of different ways. You can see here, I haven't quite finished with the logos, but I have logos for some of the stations that I, that I watch often. You can click on the station, and it'll bring up your live TV feed, and it works just like a PVR. Uh, you can pause it, uh, you can play, you can rewind, you can do all the features that you can uh, do on a TiVo, but on your computer. You can also bring up the guide. Um, you can either have it mapped to your keyboard, which is the E button, or if you have your remote mapped up, um, and then you can look at what's on TV and different channels. Uh, you can see the information available, the time, uh, you can record, and you can switch to that channel. So that's about it for the TV. Um, it's pretty much what you're used to. You can make your own channels. I've made a sports and exercise. When you click on the menu at the bottom, it'll take you to my exercise videos. Um, you can also get some sports videos. Mostly it's just highlights. Um, not really any actual live streams unless you have some of the paid channels. I think if you pay for the MLB channel, you might be able to uh, get some live streams. Under systems, where you do all the configuration, um, Xbox Media Center does take a bit to set up, but it's totally worth it. Um, on shutdown, there's like a sub-menu below it if you just want to quit to Windows. Um, you can power off completely, reboot, um, or suspend. I let, most of the time I suspend, I have a, a CIR remote it's instead of a USB remote. Um, the receiver is CIR, and it can wake it from um, a suspend mode. Many USB can as well, but the, the one I chose was CIR. Now here's the weather channel. Um, well, the weather station, it's not the weather channel. You can see a little heads up display on the local weather here in Ohio. You can also click on it and get your forecast for the day and the upcoming days. It's a pretty cool feature. Um, music, you can get things like Pandora, Shoutcast, Last.fm, um, NPR, Jazz Radio. There's a bunch of different plugins for whatever your taste. Uh, and the, the bottom row is just some random albums from my music collection which you can get to by clicking on music. And you can look through all the different albums that I have. Um, and you can listen to those just as you would any other music player. Um, the movie section is pretty cool. It shows the most recent movies that I've uh, purchased uh, or put into my library. Or you can look through the whole movies. And you can see all, all the movies. In the bottom kind of tells a little bit about them, the rating, the title, uh, things like that. And you can get a little bit more detail if you want to click on it. Where the, wild, where the wild things are. You see the detail about the video and you can watch the trailer on YouTube if you'd like or you can play. 
for the TV shows, it's pretty much the same thing on the front screen where the most recent episodes, and you can see all the different seasons I have. Um, you can watch the entire season, or you can pick individual seasons, or the entire show, I mean, or individual seasons. So, for example, if you just wanted to watch every single episode of It's Always Sunny, you could watch that, or you could pick individual seasons. Or you can pick individual episodes, and give you a little bit of info about it. Or you can just hit play, and it'll start playing. So that's about it for Xbox Media Center. Um, all of this is a free download uh, from their site. They've been around for quite some time. Um, it does take a little bit of work to get set up, but as you can see, it's very much worth it.